When I Grow Up, written by Al Yankovic, illustrations by Wes Hargis, published by HarperCollins Publishers, and performed by members of the ASC Volunteer Theater family. I waited so long for the hours to pass, and soon it was noon there in Mrs. Krupp's class. And Thursday at noon, as I'm sure you know well, is the time of the week when we do show and tell. And this week, the subject, so special to me, was when I grow up, what am I going to be? That's something I'd really been thinking about. And I just couldn't wait to let all those thoughts out. So when Mrs. Cook said, who's ready to share? You can guess who was there with his hand up in the air. I raised both my hands just as high as they go, and bounced up and down, and then, what do you know? Well, Mrs. Crook picked me. Yes, me to go first. Oh, I was happy I thought I would burst. I proudly stood up and began my oration concerning my choice for a future vocation. Ahem! Esteemed friends and colleagues, and dear Mrs. Crook, I know what I'm going to be when I grow up. Why, I'll be the greatest chef you've ever seen. The world will go crazy for my hot cuisine. I'll tantalize taste buds with my rigatoni, sauteed with black truffles and pickled bologna, surrounded by kumquats and candied pig's feet, topped with shrimp-flavored lollipops. Bon appetit. Mwah. My walls will be filled with awards that I've gotten for toast on a stick and my Twinkies au gratin. My kitchen will be the most famous in France, so make reservations 12 years in advance. There's no doubt about it. I'm certain you see. A world-renowned chef is what I'm going to be. Mwah. That is very nice, Billy. Now, who wants to be next? Maybe Susie or Fred? I said, hold the phone now. I haven't departed. Hang on to your seats, because I'm just getting started. Maybe instead, I could be a snail trainer. Man, that would be awesome. Why, that's a no-brainer. I'll teach all my snails to do really neat tricks. They'll play dead, roll over, and even fetch sticks. Of course, all the sticks will come back two years later. But working with snails, I mean, what could be greater? They'll do any stunt that I like. Holy moly! I'll train them to pedal a bike really slowly, then jump, I mean ooze, through a ring of fire, and crawl at a snail's pace across a high wire, then finish by writing my name with their trails. That's right, I'll be Billy, the master of snails. Or else, maybe... I'll be the lathe operator who makes the hydraulic torque wrench calibrator, which fine tunes the wrench that's specifically made to retighten the nuts on the lateral blade. That's directly beneath the main radial sockets, inside cooling systems on X-14 rockets. And since this profession's as cool as can be, well, who would be better to do it than me? Say, here's an idea, perhaps just for laughs. I might make a living by milking giraffes. It's oh so cliche to get milk from a cow, and I bet all those cows need a break anyhow. Imagine me milking way up in the air. I would use a ladder instead of a chair. What? Milking giraffes, Mrs. Krupp said. Oh, please. I countered, how else could we make giraffe cheese? Now don't interrupt me, I'm really not through yet. There's still lots of stuff that I'm planning to do yet. Cause maybe I'll be a gorilla masseuse? Or an artist who sculpts out of chocolate mousse. Or a rodeo clown, or a movie director, or maybe a professional pickle inspector, or a big sumo wrestler, or a hedge fund investor or smelly pit sniffing deodorant. Or I'll be an expert on nuclear fission. Or else a foot model or friendly mortician. 
or waiter or skater or master debater or dinosaur dusting museum curator or TV repairman or sidewalk sign waver or part-time assistant tarantula shaver. And that's about when Mrs. Krupp said, Now, Billy, please make up your mind. This is getting quite silly. Which one of those things are you going to choose? I shuffled around and I looked at my shoes. And finally, I said, my great-grandfather Bob's been a whole bunch of things, had a whole bunch of jobs. A butcher, a barber, a bellboy, a bouncer, a telephone psychic, and a bingo announcer. You know what? He just turned 103, and he's still not quite sure what he wants to be. See, I'm only eight now, so frankly, I'm hoping you'll cut me some slack if I leave, leave options open. Let's just wait and find out what my future brings. Hey, I might even have time to do all of these things. And then the bell rang, and we all went to lunch, and as I sipped my pineapple punch, I ponder for fish. Or maybe, just maybe now, when I grow up, I can be a great teacher like dear Mrs. Krupp.